Hello everybody and welcome to my Let's Play for Factorio. Um, I'm just doing a little in-between episode here, so this is going to be 13.5 where I was actually planning out my new base and I just wanted to show you what I come up with um, for basically autonomous science. Um, I copied it from a website it was from the actual Factorio forums there is a um, list of creations um, but it was depreciated so I, I actually fixed it um, the fix is a bit weird but look at this everything all science that's got to be purple right there in one little block and that's it how cool is that? It's a little bit slow on the blue science, I have to say. Um, but well, that's only because it's limited by the factory speed. Um, that's how fast they go. And it's cool. So let's take a walk through for it. I um, basically just mined the hell out of everything I could find in my starting area, and it's on peaceful, so I don't have to worry about the the buyers. Um, but we've got ridiculous amounts of smelteries for this sort of level in the game. They all go up into a central trunk. Is the extra output I could take off to wherever um, we have our coal extending out from our iron facilities all the way this way down into here where we smell steel now there was supposed to be a fourth one there and basically they were using belts coming off they're taking off the edge of transport belts um, arms taking off the edge sorry and um, I couldn't get it to fit in so I put it up here and just did a little curly whirly just to get it on the same side um, and yeah that was the first fix because this was skimming off the edge of here and we just couldn't do that anymore because they fixed it um, then we've got all our oil oil production byproduct facilities right here plastic We've got batteries, uh, hydrochloric acid, or sulfuric acid, and sulfur. Um, the pipe works a bit shoddy, but whatever. Um, that's all coming from down here. We're, we're all, all good with, um, with a load of stuff down there. Right. Anyway, it was quite quite clean and tidy didn't have to worry about it, infinitely expandable all good now where were we? so the steel gets smelted down here along with a little copper wire facility that gets put all the way over here for red chips and that's where the plastic ends up as well it's only a little, little one so then we've got the copper coming in here and straight up into a standard 3-2 chip fab um, to also power the red chips pretty cool and I just love the compactness of this and the time it must have taken them to work it out because it took me about three hours to get this working properly um, and that was with a with a picture of it. <laughs> um, so, on our main line of iron steel, we've got cogs being produced, and it's a bit slow, I have to say, but it's keeping up with that. And the cogs then feed into the robot arms, which come down to be fed into more robot arms, or go underneath 
all the way down here for the green sides. Brilliant. And also we have the belts, uh, the cogs which go under here, underneath this factory here, and around with the copper, which is skimmed off of here by the way. And f yeah, that feeds this guy with this iron, which also feeds this chip fab, which feeds this guy. It's, it's so compact, it's ridiculous. Um, and the blue science, we saw as we were going around, the blue, the blue arms get fed into the smart inserters and they get put down here. And this bit was really confusing. Um, it gets put onto a conveyor belt, onto a skimmer, which then goes underground over to here but then this one inside is for this red chips and that's to power this this plant here and it doesn't really seem to be working too good this guy always always takes it I'll watch it again just for a second but it should be one then one then one then one surely Let's see. Okay, so how to sort that out? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to sort that out, but it should take it in turns one then one. Um, but it's not. So this this factory is not working. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that off of there like that, and then that could just supply that guy um, so yeah that's the blue science purple science will just go directly in here once I have it um, and just go straight up into the labs and yeah oh excuse me hiccups again ridiculous these headphones are cursed um, so I just thought that was a little interesting thing to give you a show um, and this is the type of thing I, I prefer to make anyway I, I wouldn't go this far and have it so compact but I do like a compact base and it's beautiful so I hope you enjoyed that guys and I shall see you in my next episode. Ta-da for now.